Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with the stampandcrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to our weekly tutorial. Thank you for your patience. I was out of town again for three days and um, it just puts me behind. I can't get caught up. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so I scheduled, rescheduled for today. Um, volunteered at the food pantry this morning. So uh, hopefully I have I my act together for the video today. We'll see. So today, our new catalog um, became uh, live on May 4th. So we have some new products. Uh, very excited about that. I uh, also want to talk about some specials that we have going on right now. We have a host special. So if you're hosting a workshop for uh, and you have orders of $250 or more, you're going to get extra host rewards through the end of May. Also, we have a new starter kit special. So normally our starter kit is only $99 plus tax. Shipping is free and you get to pick $125 worth of merchandise. You also get a whole business pack with catalogs and a paper pumpkin kit and order forms, all that kind of stuff. But during this month, you're gonna get $155 worth of product for only $99. There's no further obligation unless you want to continue saving. You're not required to do classes. You're, you know, really you're not required to do anything. Um, so it's the best deal um, going in the catalog right now. So if you're spending, you know, if you have a $100 order, $100 on your wish list, go ahead and get this starter kit special because you're gonna get another $55 in free, uh, for free. So, I mean, who wouldn't, who, who doesn't want free stuff? I mean, raise your hand if you want free stuff. I know you do. So if you're interested, let me know, or you can go to sandyreese.stampinup.net, click join and just kind of read through everything. All right. So I'm gonna get started. Let's get you flipped upside down. Get over to our settings. All right. Oh, where's my knobby here? Let's get this. All right. So we, as you can see, are going to be using the new Turtle Friends stamp set. I'm very excited about that. Let me get centered here. Turtle Friends, this is on page 56 in the new annual catalog. Uh, it comes with the stamps. There's a stamp set called Turtle Friends. It's got 17 photopolymer stamps. And then it uh, also has the Turtle Friends um, or the Turtle Punch. So you can get it as a bundle, save 10%. Uh, it's only $30.50. Super, super cute. So we are going to make a few very quick, very easy cards uh, that anyone can do. So we're going to start out with some pool party cardstock. Let's get this folded in half for our card base. All right, then I have a piece of old olive. I'm going to be using old olive on all my cards today. It's the perfect turtle color. Okay, I have a little bit of the ice cream, uh, sweet ice cream designer series paper. This is the same pattern. On one side, it's got the, the polka dots. This is perfect. Love this for to go with the, um, the turtle stamp set. So I'm going to put my polka dot paper on the bottom right here just because I really like this big splashy piece. And we're gonna put this up on top. And it adds some, some extra color. I will post measurements later today on my blog. This is just kind of overlapping a bit. And let's pull in a little bit of, we've got some of this white crinkled seam binding ribbon. I just like when I have, um, a seam where two papers go together, I like to have some sort of a border right there, either a piece of cardstock, like a little strip or some ribbon. So we're gonna go with ribbon for this one. All right, now wrap 
this around, hopefully. Get that pulled through. It's such a pretty day today. I don't know if any of you have been outside yet. Probably. Um, but I had to, I stand outside today, senior pickup day at the food pantry. And so I stand outside and check everyone in as they come by. So I got to spend a, an, a couple hours outside this morning, which was really nice. Okay, so I'm just uh, placing this right in the center. And I left a little bigger border of the pool party. Then I have a white circle that I die cut. And I'm just going to adhere this down flat. I'm going to have it coming over just to, you know, hold on. Whoops. I feel like this, I didn't put this on straight. I don't know what happened. Let's see if I can pull that up just a bit and scooch it back over. There we go. I think when I went to put it down, I, I moved it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me that's off, off center today. Okay, so that's our base. And then we're going to going to stamp one of these adorable turtles. I'm going to stamp with Memento ink. This is the large turtle. Look at how cute that stamps. It's just, it's just such clean lines. So now we're going to do some coloring. I'm going to use uh, my old olive blends. So I'm gonna start with the dark. I'm gonna do his toes. Okay, and then like a little bit of shadow where where we might have the shell kind of coming down around the neck. Okay, not a whole lot of the dark. And then I'm going to come in with my light old olive and do a little coloring. Now you guys know I'm not real big on coloring, but this is not a huge turtle, so it's a little easier to color. Okay, I'm just filling it in, and then I'm gonna go around and blend it a little bit. I'm just gonna fill his shell in with the light because I'm gonna stamp on here too, but I just wanted to give it a little bit of this old olive. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around and use the the smaller end, and that's where you're gonna come in and kind of do a little bit of your shading. I'm just gonna fill in right there. Kind of soften up those lines. I'm going to go back to and just kind of do a little bit of extra of the light around the shell, the edge of the shell. Okay. It tends to dry a little bit lighter too as you're, as you're going around. Oh, I don't think I shaded that very well. Okay. Now we have this little uh, image. It's shaped like the shell, and it says it's time to celebrate. So cute. So let's do that. We could. I'm going to do that in black since I already did his um, his body in black. Let's do. It's time to celebrate in the black. Cute. Love. Love this set. This was one of my one of the first things I wanted to get. Okay, so we're gonna hold our punch upside down. Let's get it all lined up in there. Punch it out. So cute. All right, let's stick. Um, let's see. Probably three dimensional should be should be plenty to hold them in place. gonna pop them up right in the middle of our circle. Isn't that cute? So quick and simple too. Okay, so that's card number one. 
All right, now we're gonna do we're gonna do a little uh, a little note card. This is one of our note cards and envelopes in basic white. Then I have a piece. We're gonna do a baby card. This is perfect for babies. I'm gonna do a piece of balmy blue on the card front. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. I've run out of adhesive. And do I have another roll up here? No. So we're just gonna go with our Tombow. All right, so I've cut the balmy blue very, just, just an eighth of an inch shorter than my card base. Um, because I want, I want to add more blue than I do um, white. So on my focal point, we're going to stamp. Let's see. Let's stamp an old olive. Now let's do, I think we'll do, uh, we'll try Mossy Meadow for our outline because it's a little bit darker. Okay. So I'm going to stamp Mama Turtle. Oh, let's do Mama Turtle right about there. It stamps so nice. I love how this stamps. Then we have a baby turtle. There's two of these little turtles, and they face different directions. So I like this one because uh, it faces the Mama Turtle. Okay, we're going to do a little more coloring on these. Same thing. Just use a little of the dark for some shading. All right, we'll do a little bit on the baby turtle. All right, let's use the bigger end here. I didn't use the, the black ink because it's a little harsher. And because this is more of a, I wanted to go with a little more softer, softer colors for the baby card. I'm not really good. I don't know if it's my glasses. I'm getting uh, some new glasses, hopefully coming in soon, where I can see... Um, at this, it's just single single vision going up to this, um, like, 18 to 24 inches, <laughs> which is what I need, which is what I'm struggling with, is seeing what I'm doing right here. Okay. I'm going to come back and blend in just a second. I just want to get this light green in here. Okay. All right, let's flip this around. We're going to do a little shading. It's the quiet. I can't think of anything to say today. I, I went to Portland this past weekend, so I had a really great visit with my family my brother, cousins, aunts and uncles. We had a fabulous time, but it was too short, too short to spend with them. Okay, so now I have Old Olive. I'm going to uh, take this shell right here, and I think I'm gonna bring in my a stamping pad, a pierce mat, stamp a pierce mat just because this shell, for some reason on my stamp set, was a little shallow. Oh my gosh, that stamps so well. Yay! Okay, then we also have the shell for the little turtle. And the same shell will work for both turtles. Both of the little turtles. Whoops, I didn't press the top of it. Okay, let's get that in there. Uh, close. Close. That was me. That was not the stamp. That was me. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. That looks good. Okay. So, we're done with our that ink. Now, I'm gonna bring in some balmy blue. And we have these three little hearts. Super cute little hearts. And because it's a baby card, we can put some little hearts over by our baby turtle. And then... 
for a sentiment, I have this one. It says, hello, little one. And I'm just going to stamp this down here. I just want a sweet little sentiment right there. And I've got a little of the, let's use some light, soft sea foam. I'm just going to do a little sh shading. Whoops. Oh, it's time for new soft sea foam um, blends. I'm going to do just a little bit of shading here where our turtles are standing. Perfect. Okay. Now. Put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this and adhere it to this piece of old olive. Okay, and I want to do a little, let's do, let's do some twine. I'm going to wrap this around twice, I think. One, two. And I always just leave it on the roll until I'm done when I'm doing this at home. Okay. So we're going to tie a little bow here. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, trim a little bit off of there. Push that up just a bit. Okay, now we are going to pop this up on top of our card. I'm using the edges here. Let me just cut a few edges. straight. Let's just make sure it looks straight on the back. I think I'll put just one pop-up right there on my on my twine to hold it in place. Okay. Get all this peeled off. And pop this up in the center of our balmy blue, hopefully. All right. Oh, Super cute. Let's do just a little bit of Wink of Stella right on the hearts because it's a baby card. Looks more, it's a it's a boy baby card, but it can have a little glimmer on it, a little sparkle on the hearts. Isn't that cute? Who wouldn't want to get that for a baby gift? Okay, last card. We're going to do a fun birthday card. So I've got some... Daffodil Delight cardstock for our base. I just love colored bases. I don't know why. Just do. All right. Then I have some pumpkin pie. So this is going to be for a boy or a girl. So I'm just doing some gender neutral colors. This could go for anyone. Let's scooch that over. Okay. All right. Now I have a piece of old olive, which I think will glue down. I told you I was going to use old olive in all of these cards today, because that's our color scheme for our turtles. All right, then I have a stitched rectangle. So we're going to do some stamping on here. So in the stamp set, we have some great little um, streamers coming down. So, whoops. Boy, stamp pads are flying. Wink of Stella's flying. Okay, so we're going to start with some orange streamers. I'm just going to have these coming down from the top. Let's do shorter then maybe some longer ones right there. And let's clean it off. And then we're going to do some Daffodil Delight. Where's my Daffodil Delight? Um, get some daffodil ink and we'll use a few more streamers. I'm going to flip it upside down so it looks a little different. We'll do some longer ones. I'm kind of sticking them in between the orange ones. So it looks like we have a couple colors of streamers coming down. All right. 
uh, cleaner. Okay, so we're gonna stamp the turtle one more time, and I think we'll use black for this for this one. So let's get some memento. Let's stamp our turtle right here. And let's put a party hat on him. I've got a party hat on the other side of this. Let's see if we can get it on his head pretty well. Pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to color my turtle base in soft sea foam. So we'll do a little bit of dark soft sea foam down here. Okay. I might have to make his toes a little bit, a little bit, um, that end's not good. Make his to toenails a little bit darker, we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. If I just go over it, I think it'll make it a little darker. Okay, I'm just doing a little blending, a little coloring. Okay. Yep, I think soft sea foam's gonna need a refill. Or a, or a new a new soft sea foam. Okay. My my light one is, is drying out. My dark one's still okay. I'm just gonna come around now and just do the edge of the shell because we're gonna stamp and and punch out the rest of it. So let's grab a little bit of soft sea foam and some old olive ink and we'll stamp his shell. Let's see where his shell is over here. Right here. I'm gonna bring this back in just because mine's a little bit shallow. All right, that turned out pretty well. Now I'm gonna punch. It punches the whole turtle, but I just want the shell. So we'll just make sure we punch out that. And then we will have to trim body part off of the shell. So I'm just going to do a little bit of cutting right here. Okay. And that should pop on right there. I'm going to pop it up. Let's put a dimensional on there. Cute. I know a lot of people like to collect little things with turtles. Turtles or frogs or other little other little things. Okay, now we need to color his party hat. Let's just do yellow and orange. Since that's kind of our party party colors. Alright. So I was just using, ooh, what happened to that? That does not look good. Something bad happened to the end of that blend. Something came in here and ate it, it looks like. Well, that's okay, we have another end. Okay, now if you want, you could add Wink of Stella. I feel, feel like I wanna add it at least to the pom-pom. Okay, gotta have that for the party. Okay, we're going to just glue this down flat. with just a teeny bit of Tombow. Cute, and now I have a little half inch strip of pumpkin pie cardstock. So let's stamp, let's stamp happy birthday. And we'll just use the, the black so it's nice and bright. Happy, I love the photopolymer because you can see exactly where you're stamping. Makes it very easy to get everything lined up and and straight hopefully for the most part so i'm going to just flag the ends mm. 
flag them like that and then we'll pop these up. Let's see if I have a couple pieces of already cut. There's one. Okay, we're just going to pop that up. Now, I think I'm gonna, going to go just right across like that. Cute. Now, last step, we're going to take a couple of our Artistry Blooms sequins and let's um, let's just pop up a cu couple for extra party party uh, spirit. We'll do a couple of big yellows. Let's see, we have some extra. We have some oranges. One here. I th it's really calypso coral, but. Um, I call it orange. I do one there and let's see, we've got one more big yellow. Let's use that up. And another yellow. What, you know, you just can't have too many, too many party things. Let's have one there. Okay, that's it. I mean, how sweet and cute are those and quick. So I will post the dimension, the measurements and the supplies um, on my blog later today. And thanks so much. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any, uh, any of our projects. And I will see you next week. All right. Bye-bye.